Hello everyone, my name is Daniel and I'm here today to show you a music strum machine that I made in Blender. This model that I did though was recreated from scratch because it was inspired by many others. Many other talented 3D model artists. So I want to point out to you some of the um, things that we have in this set. So here we have our some some metal gears, which they play the tempo of the uh, drum machine song from any music. You know the tempo is actually the speed of the music. You see, there's two sets of the tempo though. It's still the same tempo though, but the giant gears play the downbeat group, and then the next size small gears play the upbeat group. The gears actually play the tempo, which sounds like this. When I clap my hands to the beat. But the gears, the, the, they play all the same all at once, though. The downbeat and the upbeat sound like this. When I, um, not, when I knock on the, uh, on the table here. That's how they sound all at once, though. But that's why they both gears play at, the, at a different time. Of each measure. So anyway, those are the gears, and I want to show you all the instrument parts here. So this instrument here we have is the hi hat, which is made of two symbols: the bottom symbol and the top symbol. And this is called the snare drum here. And this is a cowbell. And that's called the bass drum. And this is a small crash symbol, and we have a large crash symbol. And here we have our 12 tom toms. And here we have other accessories we have. We have these four um, bowl like drums here are called timpanis. And these are timbales. That's called the Vibra Slap. And these are two of go go bells. And these are called wood blocks. And here we have other accessories on the top. We have three church bells, which the notes are C, E flat, and B flat. And here we have is the uh, Tam Tam, and this is the Gong. See, all the instrument parts and the gears are all supported by pieces of wood. You see, the, the, all the orange pieces, though, are wood. And the walls here are made of bricks, which I use. Well, the wood and the bricks I use are textures, which I use. And then for the uh, gears, I use a metal texture. To make it look more realistic. And all the instruments though, I, I, I designed them all myself. The whole set I did though was made all by myself from scratch. And the other, the other accessories which are the, the timpanis and the church bells for example. Those two parts though are hung by chains. And then, and the other, the, the, both the other accessories, we have our gear wheels running down side tracks on the brick wall. And the silver cylinders we have on the back wall and the right wall, we have our pipes. So that's the recreated set I want to show you. And I want to show you how this was compared to the actual anime music song of Drum Machine. Let's get started with that. What you just saw though is that when the drumstick hits the crash symbol, the gear make a full spin. See? See, these gears are really controlling sticks and mallets, whatever's in the drums and the symbols.
And also for the uh, tom toms, it's depending on the uh, pitch. The smaller the tom tom, the higher the pitch, and the larger tom tom is the lower the pitch. Also, for the one unique characteristic of this animation is that there are no camera cuts. It's all in one camera. They transition one view to another view, which you'll see in just a moment. See? And that's what part we also mentioned is that for the snare drum in the animation, it doesn't have snares on the bottom head because for a real snare drum, the snares rest against the bottom head. They could be on this, on this bottom head or raised they'd be pulled away from the bottom head and make a tom tom sound. But when they rest against the bottom head, they make a snare drum sound. It's what you hear right now. My favorite part about that process is that is I like, is I really like how, is how the whole set is really, uh, that I recreated was uh, kind of accurate, how this animation was compared to my recreating model that I did from scratch. But this was uh, like was so fascinating to me. So this was the actual animated song of Drum Machine. Now I'm going to show you how there was a really cool stage construction, how the whole set was being put together. See how they're using stop motion animation, how all of this, the parts in the whole set was being put together. See how they're assembling all the wood parts and the gears so far? See how the uh, gear wheel mechanisms where they roll down the side track on the brick wall? That helps it roll down and then carry it down to the uh, level that was that the gears are uh, attached to. Same as the uh, the other sections with the church bells and the uh, the gong. And there you have it, folks. Any music drum machine. So these two videos will compare to this recreated a model that I did from scratch. Also I want to tell you before we go is that all the instrument accessories we have, they're actually, uh, I use, uh, use a variety of uh, mesh tools to figure out how to m model the drums, how it should be. To me though, it, it didn't have to, it, it was not really completely accurate though, it was kind of, it was kind of accurate though of the actual models though, but I used a, uh, is a basic um modeling techniques
to figure out how do you assemble all the uh, instrument parts together. So that's how I want to show you any music drum machine that I've created in Blender. So I hope you guys like this video. Leave a comment below and tell me what you guys think, how this was fascinating to you. And if you have, be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And be sure to share this video with your friends and family if you like um, any music in general though, or any other, uh, any other things. So I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you all next time. Take care, and God bless you guys.